Corinthians chapter 5 in 1st John chapter 2 three scripture references while you're getting that I will pray Father God in the name of Jesus we thank you for this wonderful privilege to assemble together in your name again for it is in your name that we do assemble you said in your word that wherever two or three people will gather together in your name that you would be in the midst there's more than two or three people here, so we know that you're already here. And we're asking that you would give unto us the spirit of wisdom, revelation in the knowledge of you, the eyes of our understanding being enlightened, that we may know what is the hope of your calling. Give us receptive hearts and listening ears. We buy in any way the enemy may try to block our thoughts, visions, revelations, hinder the word of God, or the free flowing of in Jesus' name. Devil, we come against you as a unified body, reminding you that you are bound. You cannot, will not stop, block, hinder the word of God in any shape, form, or fashion. We cast you out of our minds and out of this service in Jesus' name. You have no place here, and neither will we give you any. Father, thank you for the angels now that will help me minister this word with clarity and simplicity in Jesus' name. And everything that's said and done, we give you the praise, glory, and honor. And everyone in agreement says, Amen. We've been talking with you in sharing with you uh, our year-end review, and we title it, Remember This. Our year-end review, and we title it, Remember This, over in First Peter, it says, I will not be negligent to put you in remembrance of these things, though you know them. Thank you, Lord Jesus. In other words, he said, it's a dereliction of duty if I don't put you, in, put you in remembrance of these things. Why put us in remembrance of these things? Because sometimes we have a short memory. We tend to forget. We tend to forget. I mean, God can de deliver us, you know, out of something horrible and terrible. And one month later, we don't forget all about it. Thank you, Lord Jesus. So when we come up against something again, somehow or another, we forget that God delivered us once. He'll do it again and he'll do it again and he'll do it again. Thank you, Lord Jesus. So sometimes we need to be put in remembrance. I look at the children of Israel. God delivered them out of Egyptian bondage. My God, two and a half million Jews, he led them by way of the wilderness, fed them manner in the wilderness, a part of the Red Sea, and no sooner as they got to Mount Sinai, they quickly forgot about what he delivered them out of. Thank you, Lord Jesus. So typical is people. Thank you, Lord Jesus. People need to be put in remembrance. Thank you, Lord Jesus. The same God that healed you yesterday, the same God that delivered you the day before, come on, the same God that worked it out for you a couple of weeks ago is still the same God today. Amen. Thank you. So we have to be put in remembrance of these things. So this morning, I'm going to put you in remembrance of, of a, a message that I, and, I, and I've never done this before, but God interrupted me on this week. Trust me when I tell you that this message is heavenly sent this morning, because I already had a, a word fresh off the press that I was ready to share this week. And God said, no, I want you to review, but I want you to review a message that you preached about a couple of years ago. Call, listen to this, downloads and upgrades. Because you're getting ready to go into a time of devotion and a time of consecration and dedication, they need to know it is important that they get their downloads and upgrades on schedule, on time. Thank you, Lord Jesus. So I know you may have heard this once before, but it's my sermon. I want to hear it again myself. <laughs> Amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus. But again, like I say, I'm here to put you in remembrance. Amen. Over in John chapter 3, beginning with the third verse, Jesus said, And Jesus answered and said unto him, Verily, verily, I say unto you, or I say unto thee, Except the man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Except the man be born again. I want to center in on that born again. Keep that in mind. Nicodemus said unto him, How can a man be born again when he is old? Can he enter the second time into his mother's womb and be born? Jesus answered, Verily, verily, I say unto you, Except the man be born of water and of the Spirit, he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. That which is born of the flesh is flesh, and that which is born of the Spirit is spirit. Marvel not that I say unto you, you must be born again. And then over in 2 Corinthians chapter 5, one verse of Scripture, verse 17. 2 Corinthians 5, verse 17. Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature or a new creation. Even though you may, have, may look the same outwardly, you are not the same inwardly. You are a new creation in Christ. That is, if you've given your life to Christ. It says, uh, old things are passed away, and behold, all things are become new. Now, if you come from the, the little missionary Baptist church that I came from, they say the old things that passed away was the, was the, the lying, the stealing, the cheating, the killing, the, 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 you know, the alcohol, the drugs, and so forth and so on like that. That wasn't the old things that he was talking about. 
Thank you, Lord Jesus. And, and that confused me because when I gave my life to the Lord and, and I got the, and, and he saved me, I still went home and finished off my can, my, my six pack of mirrors that I had in the refrigerator. <laughs> you know, I still you know, was smoking that what we call wackety backety back then. <laughs> Thank you, Lord Jesus. And uh, I was, uh, you, you know, I'm th- I, 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 was fr- I was frustrated because, you know, to me, I thought the old things were supposed to pass away. So I went to my pastor and told him, I said, Doc, I can't live that. I tried it. He said, and he told me words that encouraged me and, and, and changed my life to this day. He said, Doc, be like the man at the pool of Bethesda. Stay by the pool. And if you stay by the pool, it won't be long before the Lord will show up. Thank you, Lord Jesus. And I did. And, and the Lord did. Thank you, Lord Jesus. But, you know, uh, to be a new creature in Christ doesn't necessarily mean the old things pass away. How many found that out already? Thank you, Lord Jesus. But that old inward man, that's the one that he was talking about. I'm going to talk about that later on, too. Then over in John, 1 John, verse 2, not verse 2, but chapter 2, beginning with the 20th verse. Now, listen to this one carefully because you know, you, you, this one's going to come back up again, too. But you have received an unction from the Holy One, and you know all things. You have received an unction, an unction. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Oh, you're going to find this out in the message. What a lot of us is missing it at is we've been ignoring the unction. We've been ignoring the unction. Mm, Okay, okay, I'm going to come back and talk about that. Then drop down to the 27th verse. It says, but the anointing which you have received of him abided in you, and you need not that any man should teach you, but as the same anointing teacheth you of all things, and is true, and is no lie, and even as it had taught you, you shall abide in him. But the anointing which you have received of him. If you are saved, if you have given your life to Christ, you have been anointed. You have been anointed. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Trust me when I tell you in these last days and times, you need to be anointed. For what you're going through, you need to be anointed. For what you are dealing with, you need to be anointed. There is an anointing for everything that you're dealing with. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Amen. Have you received yours today? But the anointing which you have received of him abided in you. Okay, you're still with me. All right. Thank you, Lord Jesus. As we continue our year in review, we're going to revisit this message I shared over a year ago, so uh, so, uh, the year or so ago, at at the Lord's request. The message being downloads and upgrades. This message is to get you ready for the consecration month that's coming up, but also built off a word he gave us on this year concerning continue to ascend. Remember the word for this year? was keep ascending, keep ascending, keep ascending. The reason why some of us cannot continue to ascend or continue to go up in God is because we have not been getting our regular downloads, upgrades, and updates. Thank you, Lord Jesus. And if you don't continue to get your downloads, upgrades, and updates, there's a real good chance that you can become irrelevant and no longer usable or be tossed on God's spiritual junk heap. Come on, somebody. I don't know about you, but I don't want to be falling on God's spiritual junk heap. I'm like the songwriter say, Lord, if you're going to use anybody, please use me. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Glory to God. Okay, I got a few questions for you. And and be honest. You don't have to say nothing out loud, but think about it. Be honest. I got a few questions for you. See if this fits anything about you. Okay. Does it appear that your carnal life is gaining ground on you. Come on, be honest. Does it appear that your carnal life is gaining ground on you? Question number two, finding it hard to maintain, do you find it hard to maintain a prayer life or a Bible reading schedule? Do you find it hard or difficult to maintain some type of semblance of a prayer life or your Bible reading or Bible reading schedule. Come on, be honest. You answer, you ask, you answering these questions to yourself. Question number three: Have you found yourself slipping, flipping back into your old worldly habits? You know, like you know, letting a few swear words fly every now and then. Oop, did I say that? I mean, <laughs> you know, I mean, all of a sudden it seems like they're coming out a little bit more regular now. 
thank you, Lord Jesus. And you've been saved too long for that to really to be happening. OK. Uh, question number four. Uh, are you finding it harder to believe for something that was once easy? Thank you, Lord Jesus. Now, see, I, 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 I can I can relate to that one right there because I'm finding now. I mean, because at one time, you know, getting healed was an easy thing for me. But but now every time the enemy comes or, 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 or try to attack my body, I'm finding that it's, 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 it's really a struggle. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Uh, something that I told my sister that had passed away when she when they first diagnosed her with stage four cancer. I said, you know what? 15 or 20 years ago, it had been much more easier to believe God for this. But as days go by and we get more and more carnally engaged, it's getting harder and harder to believe God for stuff. Thank you, Lord Jesus. It, it's much more difficult for us to believe God now than it was for them about 20 or 30 years ago. Trust me when I tell you that. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Question number five. When is the last time you and God had a good praise session? Mm -hmm. Come on now. When is the last time it's just you and God? I mean, man, you had the music going. You sitting up. I mean, you you just sitting up there crying and boohooing like a baby because you and God got it going on. Or maybe you was in your car, man, and you just got boy that song just got there going, and you just had church right there. When is the last time you and God had a good praise session? Hmm. I said, I don't know. We ever had one. Okay, you need to come up here and get saved. <laughs> just okay. Glory to God. Question number six, because a couple more. Question number six. Are you closer or further away from finding out your call and fulfilling it? Are you closer or further away from finding out what it is you're actually supposed to be doing? Hmm. Okay. Last one right here. Question number seven. Are the church, is the church and things of God getting dimmer. That is, you know, you, you, it's just the voice of the world is getting louder and the voice of God and the things of God seem to be getting smaller. In other words, there's more of a pull to the way of the world than the things of God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hmm. Okay. If you answer, if your answer was pretty much yes to all of the above, there's a real good chance, listen to this, you've, miss, you've been missing your downloads, upgrades, and updates. There's a real good chance you've been missing them. You see, uh, my technical devices, <laughs> my technical devices, uh, uh, whenever there's a download, and anybody, you don't necessarily have to be tech savvy to know this, uh, that, that when you are, uh, your technical advice will, will, will constantly prompt you for a download, upgrade, or an update. Thank you, Lord Jesus. This is actually how I got this message. My technical advice was prompting me uh, uh, that I had a download. And, and, and get this now, I'm getting a little bit ahead of myself. And get this now, when it prompts you, it's up to you when you do the download. It, it, all it does, all your technical advice does is let you know, uh, 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 with mine, is a little red marker that will come up on my, my uh, settings, it will, a little red marker that come up, letting me know that there is a download, upgrade, or update waiting on me. It's up to me when I do the actual downloading. And I don't know about you, but there have been times, sometimes I looked and man, my goodness, there's three or four downloads I'm behind. <laughs> three or four downloads. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Why is your technical device prompting you to download? Because uh, uh, we're living in a time when things are constantly changing. One songwriter says, time is filled with swift transition. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Things are constantly changing. How many know that normal is constantly changing? What was normal today is not no, uh, is abnormal now. What, I mean, what was normal uh, yesterday or in days gone by is abnormal now. Normal is constantly changing. There are constantly being new normals. We are constantly in, uh, being inundated with new normals. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Are you still with me? Listen, there's a new normal when it comes to having church and how long we stay in church or go to church. There's a new normal. I remember when we used to go to church, <laughs> thank you, Lord Jesus, we get there, listen to this, we get there at 9 o'clock for Sunday school. 
And we won't let out until 2 o'clock, uh, until 2 or 2.30. 9 o'clock for Sunday. So I'm like, who in the world going to stay in church for that long? We did. Every Sunday. Now get this. Not only did we let out at 2 o'clock on Sunday, but we came back Sunday night. And that used to be normal. <laughs> Don't try that up here. <laughs> Don't try that up here. Thank you, Lord Jesus. But there's a new normal when it comes to church now. If you're not there at, at 10 o'clock and out by 11 o'clock, hello, thank you, Lord Jesus. Then all of a sudden, you're supposed to start getting antsy. <laughs> thank you, Lord Jesus. There's a new normal when it comes to how long you stay in church. There's a new normal when it comes to having church. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Oh, my goodness. Lord, help us. Listen, there's a new normal when it comes to, listen, oh, don't get mad at me now. <laughs> there's a new normal when it comes to gay and homosexual lifestyles. It's the accepted thing now. Oh, yeah. I mean, you know, just, I mean, my God, you cannot watch a TV program now without them shoving that at you. Cannot watch one program without them shoving. No, no. And I hate when they try to paint us as Christians, believers, as haters. We ain't hating on nobody. We simply telling you sin is wrong. And I'll say the same thing to a drug addict. And I'll say the same thing to an alcoholic. And I'll say the same thing to a wife beater. Come on, somebody, that it's wrong. But, 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 but the new normal now is that's, listen to this, sociably acceptable now. It's the going thing. No, no, no. Like the one the guy told me, he said, listen, well, I don't think you have a right to tell me how to live. I told him, I said, sir, you are absolutely right. I have no right to tell you how to live. But I represent him who does tell you every right, who does have every right to tell you how to live. And I'm simply telling you what he said. Now it's up to you. Okay? <laughs> listen to this. There's a new normal when it comes to... Uh, 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 to what constitutes, listen to this, a wholesome marriage and family. Oh my goodness, the stuff that they got coming up with nowadays and they call it a marriage? Come on. Again, you know, you've heard this said many times, God created Adam and Eve, not Adam and Steve. Come on, hey, there's a new normal when it comes to what constitutes a marriage. Thank you, Lord Jesus. You know, now, now, now listen, man, <laughs> If you want to be the wife of the marriage, let me see you bear some children. Hello. Let me see you get the stretch marks. Let me see you. Come on. I, you women, you ought to stand up for that. Don't you dare try to call yourself a wife. Until you can do what we women can do, buddy, you a man. <laughs> Hello. Yeah. But there's a new normal now when it comes to that. Listen to this. There's a the new normal when it comes to, uh, to church praise and worship service. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Now, uh, now you know, we just recently shared and talked about this. Most of it now is entertainment. It's not really true praise and worship. It's entertainment. Now, granted, the things of God does have entertainment value. But, uh, but a lot of what they got, I mean, you know, they, 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 what they, we, we've got in church, we've brought straight out of Hollywood. Uh, there are the, the multimedia presentations, there's the light flash, and there are the power, power techniques and all this other stuff. And well, what are you talking about? Woo, we got it going, we got it going, we got it going, yeah. And, and you're just being entertained. Where's the true praise and worship? The praise and worship that would in itself would deliver somebody, in itself would heal somebody, in itself that would cast out devils. Why is the praise and worship service where they dance in the spirit? Come on, somebody. Why are the praise and worship services where they run around the building and, and demons and devils are cast out without anybody laying hands on them? Why is that type of praise and worship service? There's a new normal when it comes to church praise and worship service. See, what we were doing off in here was really necessarily, it really wasn't praise and worship. It was just us actually getting ready, getting ready for the message. Thank you, Lord Jesus. But I can't wait to get back to the, oh my goodness, I haven't, got, I haven't had a shout in a while. When I'm ready. Come on, somebody. Thank you, Lord Jesus. I haven't danced in a while. I'm about ready to. <laughs> Glory to God. Hallelujah. Listen to this. There's a new normal when it comes to wholesome television watching for children. My God, you got to even start censoring Nickelodeon now. You sitting up there watching television and you hearing all this cursing and swearing. You get, Junior, what is that you watching? Nickelodeon? Are you serious? That's on Nickelodeon? 
and they have these what they call quote unquote uh, adult type uh, uh, animations. Thank you, Lord Jesus. You know, I, I could call some names, but I'm not going to go there. I mean, but, but this is some of the most wicked cartoons you ever want to see in here. And, 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 they, and they know children are drawn to stuff like that. Glory to God. Hallelujah. <laughs> Can I get a witness? There's a new normal. Listen to the, to, to, there's a new normal when it comes to what a miracle is and what we call miracles today. Oh, yeah. You know, the doctor, you know, was able to go in and move that and so forth like that. That's the miracle of medicine and so forth. Well, yeah, I'll grant you that that's the miracle of medicine, but that ain't what Scripture was talking about when it talked about miracles. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Things are constantly changing. That's what I'm trying to get you to see. Things are constantly changing. That's one right here. There's a new normal when it comes to healing and deliverance. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Because people, listen to this, places and things are constantly changing because people, places, and things are constantly changing. Constantly. Our gifts, callings, and anointings are becoming all but obsolete. Without constant downloads, upgrades, and updates from God, we as people in a church will come to be, uh, will, will cease to be effective. Thank you, Lord Jesus. I'm telling you, Mr. and Mrs. Believer, we need constant upgrades, updates, and downloads from God. Now, I'm going to show you, I'm going to give you a few illustrations here, and I'm going to give you some of my own personal testimonies. But I want to show you that God, even though, uh, anybody got their cell phone? Anybody got their cell phone? Please have it on airplane mode. <laughs> That's okay. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Just buying, nowadays, just buying the cell phone in itself is not enough. You got the cell phone, but if she never actually uh, uh, have the, uh, I mean, apply to the uh, downloads, promptings, and upgrades, this cell phone will eventually become obsolete, irrelevant, and no longer usable. It's not enough just to say, well, I got the cell phone. Yeah, but you have had it for how long? Well, maybe a couple of years. Have you ever updated it? No. Well, I understand why it's not working. Any upgrades? No, no, one, no one of your apps don't work anymore. You haven't upgraded. You haven't downloaded. You haven't updated. See, just having, the, just having the phone is not enough. As long as she has this phone, the, the, the maker, get this now, the maker will constantly send upgrades, updates, and downloads. Will constantly. Why? To keep the phone current. Thank you, Lord Jesus. I got some that I haven't. I mean, you know, they, they're, they're pretty old, and I haven't updated them and upgraded them. And there are just certain apps that will not even work on it. Certain things I can't do, and all I can do basically is just talk on it or, or use the, you know, the Internet on it. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Are you with me? Come on, stay with me now. It's, it's going to get good. I'm, I, I haven't even got to the good stuff yet. Stay with me now. Thank you, Lord Jesus. God is good, isn't he? And all the time, God is good. <laughs> Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. If your system is not being constantly upgraded from heaven, then there's a real good chance that you are becoming obsolete, irrelevant, and no longer usable. And when it comes to uh, the fast-paced trials, tribulations, and changing times, you're going to be at a disadvantage you're going to be at a disadvantage. See, the reason why people in Christ are struggling now is because it's, it's not enough, listen to this, just to be saved. It's not enough just to be saved. Yes, you are saved. Yes, you are a child of God. Yes, you have been born again. Yes, you have the potential to cast out devils. You have the potential to heal the sick. You have the potential to raise the dead. You have the potential to walk on water. You have the potential to do the works of Jesus and even greater because you are the child of God. But just being saved is not enough. 
You, Mr. and Mrs. Believer, will constantly need downloads and upgrades because of the changing times. I'm telling you, uh, uh, our fourth dimensional neighbors, I'm talking about devils and demons, our fourth dimensional neighbors are constantly shifting this thing into older overdrive in these last days. They know they only have but a short time, so that that. They're unloading and unleashing everything at you. And in order to keep up with the changing times, you will constantly need to be downloaded, upgraded, and updated. Yesterday's anointing is not going to work for today. Yes, tomorrow's, I mean, yesterday's prayers or yesteryear's prayers is not working for the day. You need something fresh. You need something new. You need an upgrade. They won't work. Thank you, Lord Jesus. I don't know about you, but I, 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 I see, I need this message this morning. So, so if you don't get it, I'm listening. I need this message this morning. I need to hear this because here lately, the devil seemed like he done unleashed holy hell on me. <laughs> Come on, somebody. And, 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 and boy, I'll tell you what, I'm saying like, God, what's going on here? It seemed like all the demons have unleashed their power. What's going on here? Thank you, Lord Jesus. And I know that that, 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 that unction, that, that prompting has been unctioning me and prompting me saying, Did you, son, the reason why it seems like you're having a struggle and you're struggling more and more through what you're going through is because you've missed some downloads. You've missed some upgrades. You've missed some updates. Come on, somebody. He said, I have an update for you. I have an anointing for that. Remember the teaching? There's an app for that. <laughs> Remember when they used to have that little commercial come out, you know, when every time something was going wrong, they say, there's an app for that. <laughs> there's an app for that. There's an app for that. God said, you know, for, for what you're going through, he said, there's an app for that. <laughs> there's an application for that. For what you're dealing with, there's an app for that. For that little wayward child, there's an app for that. For that thing that's going on in your marriage, there's an app for that. Who do you mean an app? I mean, there's an anointing for that. It's in the download center. It's waiting for you. Remember the teaching of uh, ministers of the altar? If you really want to know, the altar of God is the download center. That's the main download center. It's getting me when you get before the altar of God. It's, it's, see, God is trying to get us as his ministers, each and every one of you. If you save, you are a minister of God. And he's trying to get us back to the altar. And you can tell you have drifted too far away from the altar. How can I tell, Pastor, things will start going south. Thank you. Things will start getting away from you. It'll be harder. Thank you. You can tell when you're drifting too far away from the altar. God say, get back to the altar. I have a heavenly download for you. So the altar of God is the download center. Thank you, Lord Jesus. And, 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 and I don't know about you, but I, I must admit, I, 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 God has been, I, I felt that prompting. I felt that unction trying to get me to come to the prayer closet, to get to the prayer closet, to get to the download center. I felt that prompting. Thank you, Lord Jesus. But I've been too busy with other things. Come on, y'all ain't going to help me here. I've been too busy with other things, and I've missed those promptings, and I've missed those unctions. And boy, I tell you what, things are struggling. And God said, okay, now you know. Get back to the altar. Get back to the download center. I have an app for that. I have an anointing for that. Get back to the download center. I have an update for that. A, Nick would know something about this. There's a new patch for that. <laughs> Got a patch for that. Glory to God. Hallelujah. No, no, we, 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 Mr. and Mrs. Believer, our, our makeup. Oh, thank you, Lord Jesus. I'm, I'm, I'm hot to leave those notes alone. Uh, uh, our makeup. Uh, anybody know anything about the, you know, Nick will help me out here, about your technical devices. Most technical devices, it's not all of them, uh, comes with an operating system or an OS an OS or an operating system. If you have an Apple product, it's iOS, that is an Apple operating system. It is the main thing on your device that makes everything run, makes everything go. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Without the operating system, your device may as well be dead. Thank you, Lord Jesus. It, it, it's the main thing that makes it go. It's the main thing that makes it work. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Uh, 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 my, uh, uh, I got some technical devices on it that the operating system is so old I can't even download anything on them anymore. I mean, you know, it's just how old they are. 
Thank you, Lord Jesus. Well, you and me and you, you and me, Mr. Believer, let me slow it down. You and me come with an OS or an operating system. You say, what's that OS or operating system? First Thessalonians 5.23. You don't have to say, no, I quote it for you. Uh, in the very God of peace, sanctify you holy. And I pray God your whole spirit and soul and body be preserved blameless until the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord Jesus. The real you is a spirit. You have a soul and you live in this physical body right here. That's your makeup. But the real you is a spirit. That's what Jesus was talking about when he said to Nicodemus, very, very, I say unto you, except the man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. What Jesus was saying, if I could put it into terms of this message right here, was Jesus was taking, telling Nicodemus, except the man gets a download or an upgrade concerning his operating system, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Most of the folks out there that do not know know the Lord, they are running an old operating system. And that old system, listen to this now, will let them lie, cheat, steal. That old operating system is, 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 is wide open to attacks of the enemy, you know, to make it, you know, fall into this and fall into that and so forth and so on. It, trust me when I tell you, if you have not had that first heavenly download or upgrade where God changed out your operating system, that is, took the old, oh gosh, y'all stay with me took the old system out and put a new system in if you haven't received that one right there then before you can get any downloads upgrades and updates we need to get your operating system changed thank you lord jesus okay let me see if i can simplify just a little bit more <laughs> your car has an operating system did you know that your vehicle has an operating system Somebody say, it does. What is it? It's you. <laughs> You're the operator. Without you, your car is an inanimate object. We'll not go nowhere. We'll not do anything. The main thrust or the thing that makes your car run is you. You're the operator. In your car, because you are the operating system, and, and this kind of gives you an insight into how technical devices work, because you are the operating system in your car, if you want the app, the app of the air to come on, you, operator, are the one that's going to turn it on. Thank you, Lord. You see, the operator turns it on. The operator turns the app of the radio on. The operator turns the app of the signal light on. The operator turns the app of the air conditioner on. You are the operator. And, and your car is filled with many apps. But you're the one that gets to... Now, do you understand where I'm going with this? Same way from a spiritual standpoint. Your spirit is the operating system. It's brand new if you've accepted Jesus Christ. But your operating system need constant downloads, upgrades, and updates. Are you listening to me? If you're really going through, when's the last time you had your heavenly download? When is the last time you had your heavenly update? God knew that was coming long before you did, and he had an update for you, and you never got to the download center, the altar. And, and you know I'm not specifically talking about the church. The altar can be in your home. The altar can be in your car. The altar can be wherever you are. I'm simply saying set aside some time to give God and get before God and let him talk to you and speak to you. Now, let me give you some uh, uh, biblical examples of downloads and upgrades. And, and I'm just gonna make reference to them. You go back and do the study yourself. But, but how about uh, uh, the Apostle Paul? The Apostle Paul was on the road to Damascus and it was in his heart to go and persecute Christians. And he thought he was doing it all in the name of the Lord. But while he was on the road to Damascus, all of a sudden he ran into God and God gave him a heavenly download. And it changed everything. When he got up, he looked like the same person. But inwardly, he had totally changed. God had completely changed his operating system. Thank you, Lord Jesus. And for a while, though, the rest of the, the, the disciples and the apostles were afraid of him until they actually saw the miracles, the healings, and the deliverance, and how he spoke boldly in the name of the Lord. And they think, now, he may look like the same person, but he is not the same person. Totally, completely changed him on the road to Damascus. 
Paul had it, a, a heavenly download. Uh, remember the, the disciple God gave me was uh, uh, Jacob. Remember Jacob when he was uh, at the uh, uh, at the river, he was going back home and he was afraid of his brother Esau, and what his brother Esau was going to do because he had tricked him and took away his birthright. Y'all remember that, don't you? Thank you, Lord Jesus. Well, that night, thank you, Lord Jesus. Listen to, I like this. That night, Jacob separated himself from the rest of the group. He separated himself from the rest of the group. And when he separated himself, all of a sudden there was an angel with the download waiting for him. Thank thank you, Lord Jesus. Jacob reached up and grabbed him and began to wrestle with him. And evidently Jacob, now now, this is the thing that I like about that story, is that Jacob was so desperate for a download. Oh, come on now. He was so desperate for a download that when he got a hold to God, he wouldn't let him go. And boy, I tell you what, now get this, this is an angel. <laughs> this is an angel and this is a man. And, and Jason had that book in a four Nelson. <laughs> I'm not going to let you go until you bless me. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Some of us, we need to do that. You need to recognize, first of all, that you need a download, you need an update and an upgrade. Set aside some time, get before the Lord and say, Lord, I'm not getting out of here until you bless me, until I get my update, until I get my upgrade. Thank you, Lord Jesus. How do I know the download and upgrade? Listen to this, because it changed three things about Jacob. Number one, it changed his name. He said, who are you, boy? <laughs> and he just like, boy, who are you? He said, my name is Jacob. He said, it ain't going to be Jacob no more. <laughs> Your name's going to be Israel. You know, and that means a prince of God. It ain't going to be Jacob no more. It's going to be Israel. Thank you, Lord Jesus. And, 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 and Jacob, uh, he kept on rousing me, and he said, and I'll tell you what, because he couldn't get a, a, a loose from him, he reached down and touched the hollow of his thigh. And from that moment on, listen to this, Jacob had a new walk. The Bible says he walked with a limp. He had a new walk. He had a new talk, and it changed his name. Thank you, Lord Jesus. That's how you know he had a download. He had a heavenly download. It changed everything about him. Thank you, Lord Jesus. And then remember the story. I'm going to take you about uh, another old story reference. Was King Saul. King Saul, when uh, he was anointed to be king, uh, or was on his way to be anointed to be king, Thank you, Lord Jesus. He had lost his father's donkeys had got away and, and, and his father sent him out to find his donkeys. And he went out looking for his father's donkeys and couldn't find them. And of course, they found the donkeys, but now Saul was lost. Thank you, Lord Jesus. But, you know, he came across the prophet and the prophet told him, you know, you're going to come across uh, some prophets. They're going to be prophesying and you're going to get a heavenly download. And you listen to this and you will be changed to another man. You won't be the same person. Thank you, Lord Jesus. In other words, that when Saul got his, uh, King Saul got his heavenly download, it changed him into another man. Now, let me give you my personal testimony. I remember, just to look at me, <laughs> you wouldn't know it now, but I used to be a bum. I used to be an alcoholic. I was the person that slept out on the street behind the dumpster, me. I was the person that slept on park benches in the middle of the wintertime, me. I was the person that slept in an old cold truck in the middle of the winter, me, alcoholic, drug addict. Thank you, Uh, 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 as my pastor used to say, I had buzzard luck. (laughs) You know what buzzard luck is, don't you? Uh, I couldn't kill nothing and wouldn't nothing die. <laughs> see, see, that's a buzzard. A buzzard is not like an eagle. An eagle can kill something and eat it. A hawk can kill something and eat it. But a buzzard can't kill anything. <laughs> and they have to wait on it to die. Well, I had buzzard luck. I couldn't kill nothing and wouldn't nothing die. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Until one day I got a heavenly download that changed my operating system. He took the old operating system out and put a new operating system in. And now I am this flaming evangelist that you see today. Thank you, Lord Jesus. 
for years strung out on alcohol, for years strung out on drugs, for years, you know, strung out, I mean, just going to the nightclubs, nightlife and so forth. My life was going nowhere fast until I got a heavenly download. It changed my walk. It changed my talk. Come on, somebody. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Yeah. You see, when you get downloads, and, and I'm telling you, it, it, it's, it's more than one. It's something that because times are constantly changing, if you want to live a successful Christian life, if you want to have a successful ministry, you of necessity must get your downloads, upgrades, and updates. You must. Thank you, Lord Jesus, because tomorrow you don't know what's, what's, what you're going off into. And if, you, and if you're still working off yesteryear's anointing, anointing, yesteryear's prayers, come on somebody, yesteryear's faith, and for whatever reason it ain't working, you may want to check your resource center as there are download waiting for you. This is why, you know, going off into this new year, we're, we're getting back to the prayer cloth. We're coming back to the download center. We're getting to the download center. I don't know about you, but by the end of January, I, I want you, you all to see a new pastor, a new preacher that's on fire for God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Ready for more in 2024. Come on, somebody. Yeah. But, 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 I, but I realize, I mean, you know, because you can tell when you need or you're missing some upgrades and updates. You can tell, say, how's that? Because things are becoming more and more of a struggle. They're becoming more and more of a struggle. Thank you, Lord Jesus. And, 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 and everything is support. I mean, and it doesn't seem like you can get anything work. Like I said, maybe you got buzzard luck. I don't know. Thank you, Lord Jesus. But I don't know about you, but I've recognized that. I got some technical devices right now. Let me see, it's this one. I think, well, hold on, let me see, let me see, hold on just a minute here, glory to God, God is good, isn't he? Yeah, look, <laughs> it's waiting on an update right now, <laughs> it's been like that probably for the last two or three months, <laughs> waiting on an update, <laughs> and I haven't updated it, see, I mean, I mean, you know, and you have an unction from the Holy One. There's, I mean, you know, I, I, come on, I'm, I'm, about, I'm about through, but come on, come on. Can't you feel that scratching? Can't you feel that scratching? Can, can't you feel that? Come on now, you know you need to spend more time in the Word. You know you need to spend more time with me. Come on now, you know you need to pray. Come on now, you done got too busy and, 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 and your spiritual life is, 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 is sagging behind. Come on, come on now, am I the only one? Are you feeling that? If you're feeling that, that's your prompting right there. That's your prompting to get to the download center. God has an anointing for you to handle that. Woo, God is good, isn't he? And all the time, God is good. Okay, let's try to close this out here. Oh, hallelujah. Are you getting anything out of this? Is it making any sense to you? Thank you, Lord Jesus. Among other things, when it comes to downloads and upgrades, among other things, th th these are the downloads and upgrades. Number one is your operating system has changed. God takes the old spirit out and put a new spirit in. That's your operating system. Uh, uh, another download or upgrade listen to this is being spirit filled. Uh, you know, I mean, you know, that's, uh, there's more to just being saved. You know, you can be full of the spirit of God and speak with other tongues or what have you. There's more to it than just being saved. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Some just, just settle, settle. They satisfy with being saved, and that's fine. But if you want a deeper walk with the Holy Ghost, seek to be filled with the Spirit and speak in other tongues. It's a deeper walk. Uh, another download and upgrade could be spiritual gifts. Uh, there are times God have had me to lay hands on people, and God imparted to them, gave them a heavenly download, a spiritual gift. I've had hands laid on me, and spiritual gifts were imparted to me. That's a download. That's an upgrade. Uh, ministry gifts, that is the ministry that you're called to. Uh, I never forget this one right here. I was in a service. I was in a service and it was loud in the place. It was the third, I never forget it, in the month of January, 
a third Sunday night deliverance service. Oh man, I, woo, we had some, my goodness, you some of the best services I've ever been a part of since I've been saved. But in that service, man, the service was loud, the music was loud, everybody was up clapping hands and woo, man, it was loud, but we was having a good time. Holy Ghost good time. Then all of a sudden, out of the blue, God gives me a download. Out of the blue, all of a sudden, it seemed like somebody took their fist and belted me into my midsection. I doubled over like this and tongues began to fly out. I bellowed out tongues. They began to fly out so loud that everybody stopped <laughs> and listened. And when I got through, uh, a sister there that I know, a dear prophetess in the Lord, interpreted the tongues and it was a word for me. But listen to this. After that, I left the service that night. I knew something had changed. I couldn't tell you what it was, but I knew I felt totally different on the inside. Something had changed. I don't know what it is, but something is different. It just, I, I just knew it. I, I listened to this. I was changed and turned into another man. Well, the next time I got up to preach, Woo, I, I had to say to myself while I was preaching, who is this preaching out of me? Who in the world is this? I mean, is that me? Um, while I was preaching, my good, the word came out of me with power. Listen to this, not only power, but power and demonstration, gifts flowed out. Man, what are you talking about? Listen to this, this new upgrade, that was a whole bunch of bells and whistles that came with it that I, I'm going like, whoa, glory to God. See. You guys may think I am a pretty good speaker, but if it wasn't for these downloads and upgrades, you wouldn't be able to understand one word I say. I'm not lying to you. I remember before I got my first download and upgrade, I was asked to review a Sunday school lesson. It was a Sunday school lesson that I had read over multiple times. I mean, maybe 10, 20, 30 times. I should have been able to get up and just recite it word for word. When I got up to give the review and everything came out backwards and folks were scratching their head looking at me like, why pastor put him up? But after I got the download and upgrade, my goodness, I, 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 the word came out of me with wisdom and power. I'm telling you, mm, I'm telling you, I, okay, I, I, I'm sorry, I got to give you more illustrations. I remember this one friend of mine's, one friend of mine's, he was a, a, a he can play the keyboard like nobody's business. He, 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 matter of fact, to see him in his earlier days, he would have remembered, okay, y'all probably too young to remember him. <laughs> to see him in his earlier days, maybe you will, he will remind you of Billy Preston. Anybody remember Billy Preston? I mean, Billy Preston used to play the keyboard all the time. He had this long curly hair. I mean, nobody can play a keyboard like Billy Preston. He reminded you of, me, you of Billy Preston. That man, he could play that keyboard. Some of us young ministers was talking to him one day. How did you learn to play the keyboard like that? I mean, you know, just, he said, I never took a lesson. You never took a lesson? No. He said, I was in the service one day. Power of God hit me. I fell out on the floor and I got up, went to the keyboard. There it was. Never learned a note of music, never played a note of music. He got a heavily download. I remember one time, <laughs> y'all may laugh if I'm a little crackling voice now, but trust me, I've heard some beautiful melodies come out of this mouth. <laughs> I remember one time I was, uh, I was uh, uh, in the choir and I got a heavenly download, man, and I start singing and a voice start coming out of me and I'm, I'm looking around, I'm going like, who is this singing? And come to find out it was me. I'm going, oh my goodness. I'm going like, and people looking at me like, I didn't know you could sing like that. I said, I didn't either. <laughs> it was a download. I've still been trying to sing like that again. I never have been able to. <laughs> but I'm gonna tell you something. Never underestimate God. He can download into your spirit whatever he wants. I mean, you know, you, you may think, you know, I'm not called to do this. I'm not called to do that. I don't think I can do that like you. I remember first telling Michelle about the call on her life. Evangelist. Where? 
Me? No, not me. <laughs> now she can preach rings around the average preacher. Downloads. Thank you, Lord Jesus. So don't say what you can do, can't do. Don't say what you can't do. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Because when you, you don't know what God has waiting for you. And tell them, I got to close. I got to close. I got to close. Again, are you getting anything out of this? Thank you, Lord Jesus. Okay, so Pastor, how do we get the downloads? Anybody interested in how to get the downloads? Well, if, well first of all, let me say to stop ignoring the unction. That unction to read. That unction to pray. That unction to get to the download center. Stop ignoring it. If you feel that thing scratching on the inside of you, that's that little red marker saying, download waiting, update waiting, update waiting. Get to the download center. Download it. You'll be surprised. It may be the anointing that you need to get out of the mess. It may be the deliverance you need to overcome that. You'd be surprised. We're getting ready to go into 2024. God wants to shift this ministry and work to a whole nother level. But you got to get updated. You got to get, you got to catch up on your updates. Are you hearing me? You got to catch up on your updates. We're not going to be any good because if we don't, we'll become, because of how fast time is moving, we'll become no longer relevant. We'll become obsolete. I've seen many that have. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Okay, so how do we get, uh, get them? Number one, uh, stop, you know, ignoring the unctions and get back to the download center. Number two, we're going to do this next week. Fast and pray. Fast and pray. See, the prayer closet is the download center. That's the author. The prayer closet is the download center. Fast and pray. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Number three, uh, you're not going to like this one right here. Should I just skip this and go on to the next one? No, I got to give it to you. Number three, sometimes your tests and trials will bring about a download. Mm -hmm. Remember Shadrach, Meshach, and that bad Negro? I mean, a big Negro. <laughs> Shadrach, Meshach, and the Bendigo. Shadrach, Meshach, and the Bendigo. It was in the fire that they got a heavenly download. Right in the midst of the fire, they had a visitation from the Lord. Listen to this. And that download delivered them. The only thing that was burnt on them, the only harm that the fire did to them was burn the bonds off of them. And they were walking around in the fire with Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Sometimes your trials and your tribulations is a promotion to the next download. Mm, hope you got that one. Uh, and then, here, now here's another one right here. How do we get them? Uh, 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 divine visitation. Uh, uh, I have these on, I don't want to say on the regular, but I have these, I mean, especially in 2021, not 2021, 2020 was, was one of the most revelatory years in my life. The things that God is still revealing things to me. I remember him telling Dad Hagen this once. He said, I'm going to carry you on to visions and revelations. And Dad Hagen said, many immediately the revelations start coming. Well, for me, the revelations start coming in 2020. And the things that he's sharing with me now, I've never been heard before in my life. Thank you, Lord Jesus. No, I have not seen him. No, I have not sat down and talked with him. But I know his presence and I know when he's talking to me. That's a divine visitation. You'll be surprised that some of you all had divine visitations and don't realize it. I remember I even had divine visitations when I was in my sin. You probably did too. You just didn't recognize it. I'll never forget it. What? 20, 30, 40 years ago, 50 yard line on Washington Street, north of Rock, Arkansas, about two o'clock at night. I'm in there getting my drink on. My, my drink of choice was tequila sunrise. I'm in there getting my drink on. The music is loud. Boom, chicka, boom, chicka, boom, chicka, boom, 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 boom. I mean, you know, folks out on the dance floor. And then all of a sudden, I hear this. Now, you know you need to get out of here. You know what I did? I took another drink. I'm going to drown that thing out. I mean, 
Now you know this ain't for you. You know this ain't your life. You need to get your life together. See, he even visited me when I was in my sins. Many times spoke to me, tried to get me to give my life to him. I, I, I'm ashamed to admit it that I didn't at the time, but thank God I did get to him. Hallelujah. And get that download. Glory to God. And the last one right here, how do we get them uh, divine importation? Remember Paul told Timothy, you know, uh, stir up the gift that was uh, in you by the putting on of my hands. That was divine impartation. Basically, that's what my ministry is. A lot of times, you know, the, uh, God has given it to me to impart. I don't know if you all realize it or not, but my ministry is a ministry of impartation. It's not just regular preaching and teaching like the average minister. When you leave, you can tell you got something. You can actually tell if something was added to. Am I telling you the truth? That's the impartation. It's more than just preaching. Thank you, Lord Jesus. My ministry is a ministry of impartation. Sometimes, you know, most of the times through me, the impartation will come through my teaching. But every now and then, he will have me to lay hands on you, and then there will be an impartation. Thank you, Lord Jesus. So that's how you get it. Now, you got a choice. We're coming up to the new year. In conclusion, we're coming up to the new year. Now's the time to get back and catch up on some of those updates that you've been missing all year long. <laughs> catch up on the updates. Now, you ain't going to get it just going in the prayer closet and then coming out, going in the prayer closet and then coming out. No, and, uh, that's why I say you may fast for 10 days, but use the whole month of January to hang out around the altar and get all and, and become current on your updates and become current on your updates. I'll know when you do. Matter of fact, we'll know when you do. <laughs> we'll all know when you do. It's going to take this church to a whole new level if you do. Become current. And you're going to make my job so much easier as your pastor. <laughs> Want me out in the call? You, hey, bro, where you at? Oh, oh man, I, I was tired this morning, Pastor. Okay, get to the download center. <laughs> You're missing some updates. You're missing some upgrades. Come on, stand. In Jesus' name. Remember this. 